turns one and two. This is a tricky combination with a bunch of things going on. I can't go completely flat out through T1 as I won't be able to have enough time to slow down for T2, so I'll have to break in T1 to set up for T2. I can't brake as hard as I'd like either as the car is heavily loaded on the right side so the left tires will lock more easily. And this is further frustrated by the bank depression at the apex of T1 and the crest halfway between turn 1 and turn 2. I'm going to turn in when I'm about a car length past the end of the pit wall and I'm going to stay in 5th gear. Right between the cones and the curbing, I'm going to start unwinding the steering wheel and start my braking. I'm going to threshold brake as much as possible into almost the apex of turn two. I want to carry my arc until the car is pointed to the left of the long white billboard directly ahead of me. With the car straightened out as much as possible, I'm going to finish my braking, drop down to third gear, and turn in for T2 right before the end of the curbing on the right. The inside curbing of T2 changes radius several times and it almost always catches me out. I'm a little early here, but the goal is to be back to full power as the car points at the end of the tire wall ahead. I'm up to fourth on the following straight, but I don't think you lose any time if you wind up staying in third. Turn 3 is a second gear corner. It's only slightly slower than turn 2, but slow enough that you need the gear change. Brake about the beginning of the curbing on the left. There's both a little bit of a depression in the braking zone and a crown in the middle of the track, so the car will understeer it turn in. You should be at full power as the car points at the small timing tower. Turns 4 and 5 are essentially one third gear corner. Roll onto the brakes right about the tires on the left. The car will get loosed over the crested entry, so we'll use that to help rotate the car and unwind our steering wheel. As the car falls into the banking and elevation change, the balance will move to understeer and will start dialing in steering and throttle. For turn 6, I prefer 4th gear. We'll start our turn in before the bridge begins, which is a bit of a cognitive dissonance as we're turning the car into a blind corner on a straight bridge. At the crest, I'll upshift to fourth gear, lift a little for turn in, and then run maintenance throttle as I aim for an apex off the middle cone on the right, which this time I missed by just a little bit. Turn seven. I'm in fourth gear, and I'll stay in that gear until the last corner on the track. For the upcoming sequence of corners, I want to make sure that my eyes are up and looking as far forward through the corners as I can. For this corner, I'm going to dad the brakes and turn in right at the yellow-red curbing that's on the left. I want to use all the curbing on the right-hand side and get my right side wheels on that little patch of inside curbing. Where the curbing narrows at turn 8, there's a pothole that will upset the balance of the car if the left front hits it. I glanced off that pothole this time, but my eyes are on the end of the curbing on the outside of turn 9, which is my turn end point for that turn. As the car starts to transition to the uphill for turn 9, I'm going to use about half brake and turn in at the end of the yellow-red curbing. I'm looking for and aiming at the splotch of color at the end of the yellow-red curb. I'm going to smoothly transition to the driver's left for 10-11, but I'm not going to worry if I can't get all the way to driver's left. For turn 10, my apex is the gray curbing on the inside, and I want my car to be pointed to the right of the stand of four trees that are ahead. I don't want to use too much of the curb on 11, as the car will start pogoing, and that's not going to help at all. Turn 12 is third gear, and I'm going to start my braking just as the car reaches the second half of this large brown splotch on the track. I'll start the turn in right before the end of the grass on the right, but I'm looking to the apex and not at my turn in marker. It's really easy to apex too early here, but you need to be to full power as quickly as possible. I'm looking to track out after the first light post after the stoplight. <laughs> 